What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Maiden Abyss. Today we're doing season two, episodes five and six. Now, I recorded episode five last week, but I was not able to edit it due to a bunch of IRL things and a fishing trip that I had taken. So I am combining it with this week's episode for a little two-parter for you guys. So if the outfit changes or if the discussion's a little unique, that's why I just had to splice together two completely separate reactions just to let you guys know. But oh my God, are we in a crazy place in Made in Abyss? Like, I don't know what Rico's gonna give up. I don't know what's going on with Reg. He's an interference fucking advanced data collecting unit. Who knows? I don't know. This is gonna get dark and depressing. I'm ready for it though. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions, all that jazz. Let's hop right on into it. Made in Abyss, season two, episode six. Uh, this one is called The Luring. Great. Yeah, the eternal fortunes or the eternal fortitudes. I'd be so nervous traveling anywhere on this. Oh my god, on this layer. Yeah, because of the force field, right? And it's super strong. Look at its size. I love its design. It chipped its arm. Holy shit. A bigger reg just grabbed us. Is that Big Daddy? It, it is Big Daddy. Paputa's friend. Yeah. Sounds good to me. What, yeah, what do you mean? Please, give us some answers, please. Oh my god. These creatures, bro, I tell you. Well, because we lost our memory. Yeah, this has a different name than the sixth layer. Yes, we must. Damn. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I am curious as well. I need to know. Damn it. I like this guy so far, Big Daddy. You, who can go anywhere, please uncover said data. I would like to also know. Iruburu. Iruburu. I never had the name, officially. High five, yay. Mandapu. Vamos. So far, Wazukian is kind of cool. Kind of smells like the sun, just like Faputa, right? Oh, they actually like divvy out the words into like what they mean individually, you know? Shouts out to Rico for trying to better herself, trying to learn this language. Shouts out to the restaurant owner slash cook for teaching us this language. Nice lady. And I mean, we've always known Rico to be a smart cookie, but she's picking us up quick. <laughs> Look at Ma. Okay. Beyond even the sacrifice, Dogupu. Okay, I guess we're going. I was about to say, can we go somewhere else first? But if the secret of the village lies here, we're going here. Is that Ma? We're going down with Ma? Oh, the... We're about to see Vueco. Oh 
We can hear her. Now, I assume it's going to get dark, it's going to get weird, and it's going to get creepy. But I'm praying that Rico and Voico can sit down, have a woman-to-woman -woman conversation about the last 20,000 years, however long it's been. Please. Yes, that is a little long. Using the language, still working on it. Really? That's the one thing I would be thinking as well, even though we know Vueko hopefully is not a bad person, but... Is that Faputa? Damn, that's you opposed it? That's why you're in this situation? And now Vueco is freed. <laughs> Truth is, I really don't give a fuck. All I'm looking for is my friends and my mom. Anything other than that? Cool. Uh, the restaurant lady did say hollows who go down here instinctively feel like beat up, you know? Okay, we're going back up. Normally, yeah, I'm not sure if Waco can make that. We got to pull her up. Normally, I'd be like, oh, no, the curse. We're going to get afflicted, but we're in the special Iruburu village, so we're good. Yeah, fits perfectly, we'll say. The luring? Okay, let's see it. No, let's see it right now. I wonder what the relation... So they don't like it. Bailoff, Wazukyan, you know? Give me some... Give me some details, please. And like, Wazukyan looks so different from Bailoff. Like, they're hollow forms, you know? It looks so different. And this is Rico's first time meeting Mitty, right? <laughs> it's the boy Majikaja. She sold herself? What does it mean to sell yourself? Like she is going to stay here forever? Oh wow, through the eyes too? Literally eating Mitty as a never-ending source of energy? Oh, this is... But how is Mitty still alive? What happened? Yeah, she remembers from like the soul dream, I remember, you know? Like Rico, like, yeah, same exact thing that they did back in the day, yeah. Damn, man. Sell yourself. Bondrude came here? Bondrude came here? I mean, if Bailoff himself offered 50% of his enormous body. Okay. No. 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 
All right, well, then there's nothing we can do. Yeah, okay. Okay, I don't, I don't like this. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Shouts out Reg for, or shouts out Rico for considering this, you know. If anything is taken, it's all over. Nana, she sold herself. She was taken, so. What the hell? All right, the luring. A big one's here now. It's the luring. What is going on? We got a fucking war going against this slime octopus creature now? What the hell? Uh huh. Really? They gotta go on a hunt. Like Monster Hunter. Yeah. We gotta get our white whistle. Can't even call it. Can't even call her. Oh, I gotta call her Prushka. She deserves it. I wonder if we're still working on Prushka. If we've hit our final form or whatever that may be yet. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's. It was, oh. What a talk about a storage unit. Oh. It looks so much different. One boo. Take it and run. I agree. This is quite the crazy episode already. What? What is this, the Legend of Korra season two? We got Unalak versus fucking. Never mind. Oh my god. Wow. The designs of so many of the hollows slash creatures in this just baffle me. Man whips out the bone sword. And it's like slime body is acid. Yeah, it melts it and eats you. Ooh. Oh, it's the, yeah, the restaurant keeper. What up, Moogie? How are you doing? You're not wrong there. I agree. Rico should get out of here. Let's do this, everyone. Fashion Bree! Okay. This... There was a couple of things I was expecting for this episode. This was not one of them at all. So, some good observations. I would I would not even know where to start. Hadi. Oh, Rico's smart ass mind. She has a plan. <laughs> Little signal. All right, signal has been let off. Ma is here to inform us. So he got value from Rico's hair. Because it definitely has an innate value. And what are we using with this? Did my man turn into a fucking motorcycle? He said, we got a meal for you right here. Oh my, this thing is so just weird looking. 
It literally is a fucking motorcycle. Shouts out to taking some of Rico's value. Oh my god, Paji Kaja. He's booking it. Good move. Good dodge. Oh. Huh. Maji Kaja has digivolved to Speedmon. Now we got the gasoline trail all exploding on one propelled force. Got rid of all the excess slime and mucus around his body. Used the wire to then trap everything in one oh my lord talk about a plan i would not trust that it's 100 percent dead but i'm just a skeptic but that was some great ass teamwork holy smokes <laughs> yeah ma. Ma! rico's the hero of the town now of the village and rico's got a haircut now she looks in she looks kind of cool Yo, is this thing not dead yet that's what i know right like it's gonna explode nope it is ma oh no I started off not liking you for what you did for Mania, but after this, after everything. Gotta give you an utmost salute, Ma. God damn it. Oh. Is this Prushka? If we're gonna get some white whistle something right here, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. They say white whistles, especially in their ultra form, have like powers to unlock ancient artifacts, this, that, or the other. Since when did my boy fucking Chrome evolve? Relics. My man fucking Reg himself is a relic. Reg just instantly knows without using my value. Is that Wazukian? So, okay, I was wondering, are we not going to explain why fucking Reg is chromified? Like, what's going on? Really? It's a nest? It's a bunch of individuals? Wow, the more you know. I would have never guessed. Of sorts. But to be honest, I don't know. Right, the other hollows are questioning. And I've never seen you around here. They all don't know Waco. Waco was there from day one, literally. Oh. Please tell us the story. Give me a flashback, the whole thing. We wouldn't we weren't able to turn back on layer two. We're on layer like six, five, whatever, you know. Right? Literally come on, Boyko. A true resident of Golden City? Irum Yui. Who is Irum Yui? I wish I could tell that face was scared. What?
don't get me wrong i say this with the utmost love and compassion that i have for this show this is one of the most unique out there shows i've ever seen i love it to death i would recommend it to the end of the world i am so sick of wanting answers and i get one but it leads to 17 more goddamn questions I, ah, it happens all the time with this show and I, i'm only i'm saying that like as, as like a joke i hate that but i i love it so much it's like a mystery box to its t it's like there are certain shows um that are mystery box style shows and once the mystery box has kind of been opened and explored it kind of loses a lot of its value that's why attack on titan i'm not going to spoil that is one of the greatest shows or pieces of media ever created because it's a mystery box but once you dive into the actual mystery box there's a whole nother story deep under that that's waiting to be opened this is in my opinion the same level of initial mystery box as aot i would be like rico i would give some part of me i would give value you want to take my finger take my finger to give me some answers to this goddamn show i need to know so much about this that it's not even funny and it goes levels upon levels like not only do i want to know obviously waco irumui wazukian bela i want to know about all of them i want to know about this iruburu i want to know about the village uh, i still want to know about the abyss as a whole I need to know what sort of god monstrosity devil created this i need to know how it started i need to know flashbacks i need to know the time difference between down there and up here so i know exactly how long Vueko and iruburu was but i need to know an unfathomable amount of things so with that being said i'm upset crazy ass episode this was i could have a see and i wonder if they would ever do that because they have like set i have volumes one and two of the manga for made in abyss and they have like separate pages where they talk about some creatures you know how at the beginning of the episode uh or at like when it shows the title card it'll show like a picture of a crazy creature i would love like a foraging book or a layer book of literally just all the creatures all the wildlife all the plant life the botany all that literally as just like an art sketchbook i would i have an art sketchbook of naruto i'm about to get one for one piece the art of oda i have the art of kishimoto i would love i don't even know the mangaka of made in abyss i would love the art and world building of made in abyss it's so good i would i would i would, I would buy that in a heartbeat in a heartbeat if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel <sighs> this show man i tell you don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day at Apple Squad. Peace out.